Welcome to our Yellowfin help video. Today's video is about using GeoPacks and creating map layers. So I wanted to start by showing you a completed product. Here's an example of a chart that you could create using the ski team data. So I'm just mapping out my countries here and colouring it by the invoiced amount. Now map layers are available on the little pull out tab on your map. So if there's any layers, you'll see this little arrow. And if you click that, a little menu will appear. And this is where you can select to view a particular layer. So there is a layer set up here to map out the athlete location. So if I tick that and press refresh, you'll see my map refreshes and all these orange dots have appeared and these are actually mapping out my athlete's location. Now, I wanted to actually create a slightly different example for you today, and that's because I want to utilize Yellowfin's Geopacks. And to do this, you don't actually have to have the Geopacks linked to the particular fields of your report, but as long as you've got them installed, you'll be able to create layers. So let's go and create a report. Okay, so in the report builder, I've just started to bring in the fields that we need to create a map. So I'm mapping my camp country and I'm just displaying the name but more importantly I'm also bringing in the uh, geo polygon field which is actually what's going to allow me to create my physical map with this and then I'm bringing in a metric of invoice so you'll notice that my these camp fields that I've dragged in from my polygon and my camp country's name there's no geo pack associated with these we're able to just create a map based on it and I'll show you how we can add a layer for the census data from the GeoPack. So let's move to the chart builder. So first thing first, let's choose our map type and I'm just going to create a very basic GIS map. So that's just this first, uh, so that's this option here, but you could use any map type for these. Then I'm going to drag in my Geo field and what's going to define the colour is my invoiced amount. Then I can set the tooltip so that the country name will appear and perhaps the invoiced amount as I roll over. Uh, we'll quickly adjust the colour just because I feel like that blue is a little bit blending with the ocean there. So just going to select the settings on invoiced. We'll do a custom set. Okay, so now we can definitely see those countries being highlighted. Now, to add a layer, I'm going to simply press the plus button here to add another visualization. Now, because I've actually created a map as the first chart, I get a slightly different menu than you may have seen if you've pressed that button before. Normally, it goes straight to create a basic chart. However, because we're dealing with maps, it asks if I want to add some map layers. Now, there's two options. The first option is to add a layer based on an existing report. So that's what we saw just before in that finished example where I added in the layer that was pinpointing where my athletes were from. So basically that concept is that you create two separate maps and then I layer them over the top of each other. Now there's a third option though, which is the one we're gonna show you today, which is doing a map layer based on the GeoPack data. So what you'll see here are a list of any GeoPacks that you've got installed into your Yellowfin instance and you can select them. So because my data is looking at the world map, I'm going to use my country's geopack, but by all means this will work if you go on a more regional scale as well. So now what happens is it's created this little layer here and it's all blanked out. So I'll just point out that the fields over here have changed to the fields from the geopack. So normally what you'll see is a bunch of dimensions which are based on one being the geo field, which I can bring in. Uh, and the others can be those visual, like the, the name of the country or the ISO code, maybe the name of the region, that sort of scenario. Then you'll have a bunch of metrics. Now in our world geopack, all I have is the population statistics. However, if you go for a more regional one, you'll actually normally get a lot more census data in there. So like for example, the Australian one has unemployment rates and labor force size, average household incomes, population by age, that sort of additional data. So I'm just going to bring population in as my colour. Again, I'm going to do a tooltip of the name of the country and that population. 
And again, let's just color code that. So I'm going to adjust that color setting. Again, uh, let's choose some slightly different colors. So I might make this a little bit funky. Let's go pink and purple. We can see those coming through. Now, before we finish up on this, uh, if you just go to the chart settings, you'll just see some extra options. And so this is where you can give the layer a name, and this is the name that'll appear in the little pop-out box that says, what would you like to see? So normally it's best to name it based on the metric. Then it asks, you know, do you want it to appear in the foreground of the map or underneath it? So I'd like these points, these pink dots to appear at the front, so on top of it. Um, do you want this to be selectable? So that means that that little pop-out box will appear. So I do want that. Then you can choose whether when the map first loads, whether the layer is on or off. So I'm gonna turn it off so that the main focus is about that invoiced amount. And then close that. So you won't be able to preview this here within the chart builder, but if you then go to the next step of output, now we'll be able to see, here's the map I created first based on my invoiced amount. Then I can see my arrow popping out and I can see the layer. So it's called what I named it, put that on and now we can layer those dots over the top. So now we've successfully created a map and then created a layer based from a geo pack to then be able to add more value to this map. Thank you for watching and please follow our next video.